Oh, that's so fucking tedious to have to do this. Travel back somewhere and pick up one of these things. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Let's skedaddle. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, I vaguely remember this. This is Dr. Leader's lab. There are machines lurking around here, which only the powerful Zantetsu sword can defeat. First of all, talk to a certain door to get into the room. Well, time to poke around. Nice. Oh. Yeah, th this soundtrack definitely goes hard. In the motherfucking paint. All about it. Yeah, after I need to put this. I have a lot of game soundtracks on my phone. I listen to in the car and at work. I need to add this to it. This is some great shit. I released a door. I wonder if there's some stuff like this from Overclock Remix, too. That'd be another good place to check. I would be honestly shocked if people hadn't... Whoa! What? Whoa! Hold on. Up. Oh, oh, this is problems. Oh, my gosh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, this is bad. Stop it. This thing is chasing me. I don't want it. Let's get out of here. It definitely is surprising. It definitely sounds like a... Oh, awesome. Well, that's convenient that I found this this early on. Is the funk... The industrial feel is less awesome. I, I'm a metalhead, though. So, like, I hear it and I'm like, hell yeah, I can get behind this. Um, not to say that I dislike the other tracks or like them any less, but, like... And it also stands out. It stands out, like very stark contrast to a lot of the other things that have been going on. Once again, not necessarily like... Better, it's just different. It's just very distinctly different. I released a cat. Ooh, now that I have this, ooh, now that I have the sword, I can backtrack to some of the stuff in the earlier worlds and kill those enemies. Ah! Hmm. Ow, ow, ow. The instrument palette, yeah. Yeah. Come on over. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, ow. Are they coming back to me? Yep, here they come. Come on, there's another one. Oh my gosh. How long does this, uh, thread go? Well, everybody just kind of fucked off there. Okay, there's that. Oh, didn't mean to hit this one. Whatever. I can totally get behind the chromaticism, too. Alright, this is going to respawn these fast dudes.
Well, shit, they escaped. Okay, uh, where did they go? Oh, God. Oh, no. What the f fuck? They're gone forever. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> they just skedaddled. Never gonna see those guys again. Here they come! No, come back! Ah! Okay, hold on, wait. Here he comes. Oh, I got him. <laughs> and I'll hunt that dude down. All right. A great door! Ah. It's an okay door. We try not to get the door too worked up. And this is like a helicopter lawnmower. Whoa, hello, everybody. Where does this go? Oh my gosh, all it does is loop. All it did was loop me. Thanks, thanks a lot. Where did these guys come from? Hold on, wait, I go this way, go back up. And where do these guys originally come from? They come. There we go. <laughs> Just gotta post up. All right, they came from here. Or, as uh, my mom called them for a long time growing up, a Chester drawers, because that's just what you know. With the southern drawl, she heard. Uh, like adults say so she thought they were Chester drawers it's like who's Chester I don't know she he made the, he made all these drawers it say chest of drawers honestly I probably thought the same thing growing up like a Chesterfield or something like that like that you know it's just a type of drawers it's a Chester drawers It's about time to go back and talk to some people. I've opened up a lot of things. A lot of cats. Oh. I just gotta find the entrance again. Where, where was it originally? Here we go. Okay. Uh, One thing at a time. Okay, this has a couple of cats in here. Hello, this is Dr. Leo's laboratory. Laboratory. This house has a second floor and an attic. We don't really like to chase rats. Cats just have to eat in order to live. That's fair. Okay, and it looks like there's nothing else here. That's a lie. Cats love hunting. They, they're the great hunters. They like stalking. You know, they really do. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's everything on this side of things. No, wait, there's another door. Nature's little ninjas. Aww. My body's locked. There should be a key somewhere in the laboratory. Do you have a cat? I do not. I had cats growing up. We have a dog now, my wife and I. My parents have a cat. But yeah. We had cats growing up, so I'm familiar with their shenanigans. Come back here! Ah. Uh, more of these worm dudes. Big sheets of paper my cats love to hide under and stalk me. <laughs> Big sheets of paper, what do you like a... An architect or an engineer or something? Wait, is this back to the... When you say big sheets of paper, all I can think is like... Yeah, this takes me, this takes me back here. Damn it. Like a big, um... Oh, what is it called? Like an architect's table or something like that. When I think of a big sheet of paper, or reams of paper... Come back here. Oh my gosh, destruction.
Ah! Oh, it's packing material. A big roll of, I think they market as contractor's paper at Lowe's. Oh, so it's like that brown paper, kind of, that you would, like, wrap, wrap up a present in, like, an old-timey Christmas movie, and then put string around it. That plant's grooving to the beat. Uh, get it. Yeah, that sounds like a, uh, a, a good hunting ground that you've created right there. <laughs> or at least a plant. More plants. More more bopping begonias. I don't know if a begonia is a thing. Just making stuff up. I don't know plants. My mom would be very sad to hear me making shit up like that. She is very much into plants and gardening and all that kind of stuff. You just shake her head, just like, I can't believe you You don't know anything about that. It's not my thing. Well, there you go. It has a name. I have a name, you know. It's Pete the Potted Plant. Okay, I think that's everything on that far west side. So I need to figure out where to go here. Ah, there's this. Yeah. Okay, pick a lane. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Yep, I'm up! Okay. I'm gonna go touch the thing and it's gonna suck. It's gonna hurt. Come on. You touch the thing. Ow! Oh, You can avoid the damage. But what if I don't wanna? I release a cat. Cat is sleeping. He looks as though he is suffering. Oh, that's... Uh, uh, Dr. Leo? Don't I have a way to walk on fiery stuff? You can just tank it too. I can walk under the sea. I never got this armor. I know where it is, but I can't get to it. It's in the forest. Owie! Yeah, I know it's like back behind the tree in the forest area, and I just never found out how to get it. So I didn't. And I moved on with my life. Yeah, I know it's back behind the tree in the main area in the forest zone. Oh, pfft. Okay. How do we get down there? I go around this way. Oh, these are stairs. No, wait. Oh, I'm in the I'm in the pipes. I didn't realize that was going to happen. That was a surprise. I released a mouse. Oh, watch out. There are like several cats about. You need to get the fuck out of here, dude. It's not a good place for you. Oh, I'm going to wait. These guys are going to be zipping around. I won't be able to catch them. <sighs> Where'd these little boys go off to? Oh my gosh. Come back! Ah! Mm. Oh my gosh, there's an anxiety attack every single time trying to deal with those guys. 
because they just they just go scampering off and i have to hunt them down make them sit still be quiet oh come at me Easy, and then back it up. Okay, this reconnects all that shit. Okay. I don't wait, and this guy... You have a maximum as well. There's that. Oh my gosh, more of these things. Nope. Oh, this is bad. I'm just gonna side slap him every single time. There's that. Oh, thank goodness. I was watching over the world. Please take this. I received experience. Would you like to go back to Dr. Leo's lab? Yes. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Alright. There's a. First of all, first and foremost, heal me. Master, help! I got boo boos. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Okay. Oh, wait. I can't get to that plant yet. Unless I can talk to it. Hello! From across the way. No. I can't yell at the plant. I can talk to this guy, though. The room on the second floor is Dr. Leo's. There were two models of the... T oh, yeah, I forgot the model! Man, all this stuff is slowly but surely coming back to me. Many creatures were swallowed into the models. Would you please take the cats out of the room? I'm too scared to move around with them in here. Uh. And I don't have the key to that. So probably, I, can I, <laughs> can I summon a vacuum cleaner to get the cats out of here? I don't know. Can't go that way. Okay. Everything is. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're just going to continue on. Uh, so we go. Now would be a good time for backtracking. Mm. I think what I'm going to do, since I'm already back here. Oh, where was this? I'm losing my mind. Where is this stairwell? Not hinting or anything, just saying since you were already out of the dungeon. Yeah, I should have done that. But now I'm back here, so... It's too late. I've already spent 13 seconds coming back this way. And that's lost time. I can't, I couldn't possibly <laughs> double back and do something intelligent. Uh, It's too late. Okay, you've been dealt with, you've been dealt with. I guess we're just gonna... Ow. Ow. Okay, you, what are you? I released steps <laughs> up to the second floor, of course. Okay, that's good. And then, yeah, let's see what uh, is this way first. Anything on this platform? Oh. Come back. I'm a, ow. Oh, no, get off the thing. You dummy. You big dummy. Ugh. Okay, they fake me out. These things are gonna go zipping around, but I'll get a second shot at it. A great door. I still don't have the key to get through the first door, but now I do have stairs, so I have some, I have somewhere else to explore. Okay, these things are gonna spawn and go around. Oh no! Come! Oh my gosh! Sadness. Despair. It's gone forever. I'll never see that again. God. Where the fuck did this boy go? 
Oh no, I don't want to run across that. Oh, that blows! It's just gone. Oh, I'll wait. It did it. <laughs> Panic attack. Backtrack, metal boys, you can get the ice armor. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wait. Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, up. Oh, it burns. We're fine. I'm surrounded. Oh, they're coming in hot. Oh, the best. What a strategic level up. <laughs> get my full health back. Perfect timing. Okay, I got three of these things to open up. A model of a town. Oh, there it is. There's the bullshit. God, I remember that now. Oh. <laughs> is this just an easy way to get back? Yeah, that's all that is. Okay. And then you... <gasps> nice. Okay. So, I will take this opportunity to ski daddle. Let's do a little bit of backtracking now. So there's definitely some stuff here to deal with. Oh! Oh, come back! I can't! I can't! There we go. I was very stuck. And then there's some stuff up here. released ivy and a gem how did we get there oh my gosh i'm not gonna remember this stuff how to get there okay okay i know there's some stuff in here too Oh man, they give me a lot of experience. It makes sense that they would give me this much experience since I couldn't get this, like kill them until I got this sword later in the game. Uh, where are you at? Where'd you go? Oh no, come back. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't. Oh, come back, oh. Low speed chase. There we go. Okay. Mm. I released Ivy. More Ivy. Up to a dead end. Probably some hidden something up there. Some invisible something. Oh boy. Uh... I didn't even check. Okay, there's one... There's one layer here. I think there's... Yeah. Okay, that's clear. So there's one here. Eep. Oh, that was it. Okay. What's up, mute? How'd your stream go? I received a fucking tornado. Hell yeah. Had a great time. Awesome. Glad everything went well. Are you uh, doing some more? What did you, I guess, what did you play? Six man raid halfway, nice. Is there anything here? No, I've cleared all this shit. What were you playing tonight? Were you doing some, some Pikmin? Let me out, okay. Where? Okay, so I had some ivy for a couple of cliffs. There's one. Pikmin 1, Pikmin 1 runs on a real Wii controller. Casual run of Pikmin 2. Gotcha, gotcha. This is the Master's Emblem A. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we have three of these stupid things. 
I'm upset about that. <laughs> I wanted it to be something cool. Okay, then you... Is this the ivy? No, I've been here. It's on the other side. Oh, I knew if I tried to run to the new controller, I'd get frustrated. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's best to, you know, stay with what you're used to with that kind of stuff. Okay, oh wait. So, this goes up here. It's a magical stick that enables you to look into dreams. Equip the stick with a wish. You speak to someone sleeping. No, wait. This isn't... Oh, no, no, no. I think it's this cave in the upper part across the way. Getting mighty close to affiliate. I'm making it, dude. I'm putting in the work. <laughs> putting in the time, playing some games. Uh, where is this vine? I'm getting lost in the games that I'm playing to. There. How do I... What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so, 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 tomorrow night, push over the edge. Yeah, we do our, uh, exactly, doing some, uh, some co-streams with some, some goofy shit going on. So I, okay, so I need to find a passcode to talk to that kid so that he'll let me up and into that cave. I think that's what needs to happen. I don't know if I'm ready for that, though. Like, if I'm, if I'm prepared, this... You scared me. Ooga booga. Okay. This is our secret hut. We have a hidden treasure near here. Okay, so do I just bip bop bop bop? Do I just walk around? Or is that the hidden treasure that I found that was up there? Or do I need to walk around and just press A on a bunch of shit? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, both going at once. What do you mean both going at once? Oh wait, this kid came out. There he goes. Hold on, wait. Are you following me? I will not tell you where our treasure is. Uh, Steam and online. Oh. Stream and online gaming. Okay, so. So how do I check under the tulips? Do I talk to the tulips like multiple times? I guess I'm going to go talk to this tulip over here again. What? Is that a thing? Since when has that, like, ever been a thing? There is a pass. What? That is, I don't know if that's ever been mentioned. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever needed to do that ever. What the fuck? This is our secret passage. I cannot let you through without the pass. Oh wait, I need to equip it. What the fuck, game? Was it gonna was it gonna eventually learn that at some point? Emblem A. No, wait, where's the pass? Oh! The pass! Where did you find it? You can go inside now. Cool. Thanks, my dude. Please take this sword. I remember... Okay, so this right here, it's hinted that it's under the tulip, but I don't think the game ever... Yes, okay, okay. I'm, I'm about to go... This is... I'm getting... This is like triggering a huge, angry flashback. When I played this game the first time through, 10 years ago, I remember getting stuck on a boss. I think it's like the next to last boss. And I couldn't beat him because I kept dying. I didn't have enough health. And I was like, how do you fucking deal with this thing? And I looked up online. I was like, oh, it's really easy to do once you have the recovery sword. And I was like, how do you get that? And I looked up this guide. And it was like, oh, you go to the thing and you crab walk and you push the tulip. And this, this right here, this is exactly it. And I was like, I, I remember, I remember being livid 10 years ago. It's all coming back to me. I remember being pissed 10 years ago playing this game at this exact thing. Fuck. It's <laughs> It's just like waves of like historic rage coming back to me right now. Fuck off. Oh my gosh. And I remember, yeah, playing through the game and going like, how would, how would I ever know to do that? Because it's never, you never do that anywhere else. 
flip through pages when he played on the Wii Virtual Console. Like, I remember taking, like, some V8. <laughs> oh, man, here it is. Hit point. Now, nah, I have lifesteal. Hell yeah. Suddenly craving some V8. You're right, it is, it is not to be slept on. It is to be drunken. Drinked. Where is my teleport stone? In the words of uh, Psycho Stick, have you had your V8 today? You're just drinking a pizza. The fruit juice, but it's really tasty. There's the teleport stone. Voice came from above. Crash, how can I help you? We're gonna move. Psycho Stick is a comedy metal band that they do a bunch of, bunch of goofy songs. But they they have one called they have they do a lot of stuff about fruit about food, and uh, they have one called "You're an Orange," and it's just like I think that that's like basically what everything boils down to is you're round and juicy and sweet, you're full of vitamin C, and then the breakdown is like, have you had your V8 today? You're just drinking a pizza. Tomatoes really are fruit. If you're not insane, a clown, whoop whoop for for mute. Everybody can get a whoop whoop for mute. He loves it. I don't know if I've ever actually listened to any insane clown posse, other than the um, other, well, other than the the song where he's the guys like. Fucking magnets, how do they work? I did listen to that. It's called like miracles or something. I'm swallowed into the model. <laughs> I have listened to that. Oh, am I? Oh, wait. I can't swing the sword. I'm not high enough level. I just realized that. There we go. Alright, I'm getting killed by, by little dudes. I'm getting mowed down by toys. Time out. Ow. Corn's Corn's pretty good. I, I like a few of their albums, but they're kind of hit and miss. Can I, wait? Can I not move this tornado? Okay, this is pissing me off. You, oh wait, tornado. Item not equipped. Oh right. Oops. <laughs> what? Well, don't get yourself in trouble. Or me in trouble, for that matter. If you want to send it to me in our uh, in private message in Discord, then I'll take a look at it. Alright. Let's go hit these up. There's a bridge, and then how do I get to this place? No, man, I won't. Hey, I told uh, is uh, a couple weeks ago. No, it was like a, it's been like a month at this point that we were playing uh, Jackbox, and uh, we were opening it up to chat, and somebody got in, and like we were playing Fibbage, and the first thing that somebody in chat answered with a question, or not Fibbage, it was uh, um, uh, Quiplash, just threw down the N word, and I was like, all right, we're not playing with chat anymore. Yeah. 
it's 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 just not clever or funny or anything like that and that's the thing he didn't just like throw it it wasn't even like a funny joke and like oh it's funny but also like you shouldn't do that it was just he threw it down just to be edgy like it wasn't even a good joke or a good reference or anything like that and i was like you can't just be going and doing that my dude so that actually really for ever since then we haven't like played with randos and v8 isn't juice v8 makes fruit juice it does uh, yeah v8 fruit juice is delicious I haven't had it in a long time. Fuck, now you want me... <laughs> you're, you're making me want V8 fruit juice. I really liked the one that was the uh, acai berry. Acai? How do you pronounce it? Akai. V8 splash, that's what it is, yeah. Dude, do y'all remember this fruit stuff? The only person I ever remember having it uh, were my grandparents. My dad's parents uh, had it. It was called Twister. And it was this fruit juice, and I remember they had... Oh, it's so many dudes! It was called Twister, and it was a bunch of, um... I mean, it, it was like a, a, a blending of fruits. But I remember they had, like, a... It was like mango, pineapple, banana, or something like that. Acai! God, I don't even know if they make this stuff anymore. I love pineapple. I found out that uh, Monster now has a pineapple flavor, so I'm, of course, gonna have to go try that out. How many, how many dudes is this going to have? Stop it. Stop making dudes. They didn't drink a lot of juice growing up. It's expensive. It depends on what kind you get. But it's, it's one of those, it's not a necessity kind of a thing, so. We had a, a lot of orange juice at the house growing up. Just because breakfast stuff, yo. Oh, bring me those big orbs. Yeah. Okay, how do I get there? I was a kid mildly blown away when I learned that orange juice was cheaper than apple juice. Yeah. The tea and Kool-Aid. It's similar. We had a lot of Kool-Aid growing up. Not a lot of tea. I didn't really... I, honestly, I've lived in Mississippi my entire life. I didn't start drinking sweet tea until like a couple of years ago. I just didn't like it. And then one day I was just like... Let me get some. And I, oh, this is good. And now I now I drink tea. It's so fucking weird. Same thing with like eating like greens. Like collard greens and turnip greens. Just didn't eat it for like 30 years. And then one day I was like, let me try this. And I guess my palate had like evolved enough that I was like, I like this now. I usually, okay, here's the, I usually don't go full. I, do, I don't go hard with the sweet tea. I do a half and half. I can't go... I worked at a, re having worked at a restaurant and had to make sweet tea, like in the big container, has definitely turned me off of ever wanting sweet tea, knowing how much sugar gets put in that stuff, because I've had to make vats of it before for customers, and it's, oh my gosh, it's like pitchers of sugar. It's not great. Two cups of sugar per gallon at my house. That's what why I stopped drinking it. Dude, I'm trying to remember how much how much we put in. I can't even begin to I can't remember the the ratio, but it was too fucking much. Now, we're having this fucking ice apocalypse 2021. I've been drinking a lot of hot tea at the house with honey. Similar but different. Syrup, sweet tea, sweetened tea, unsweet tea, aka tea. Yeah, unsweet. I thought that was weird too. Unsweet tea. I was like, you didn't extract the sweetness out of it. It's just fucking tea. It's like decaf. Like, okay, so decaf coffee, I guess, is the opposite. Because isn't coffee naturally caffeinated? And so they have to, like, extract the caffeine somehow? I don't know. Unsweet tea is dog water. Unsweet tea is a well, unsweet tea is a good baseline. If you just want to add like some lemon juice to it or something like that, and a little bit of like, uh, not honey. Honey won't dissolve into a drink unless it's hot. It won't like emulsify. Uh, what am I thinking of? It's uh, agave nectar. Agave nectar is really good for that kind of stuff. Water with dirt in it. It's just yeah. It's old. It's old leaf water. <laughs> you get that. Dude, I still love that uh that meme you sent me of like when you're southern and you accidentally drink unsweet tea and it's like <laughs> the old dude like grabbing his chest and like laying down with a respirator. It's so true. I sent that to my family and they all fucking loved it. 
Someone incredibly, unforgivably wrong! Uh-oh, we're about to have a fight. Y'all, please be nice. Let's be civil here. Let's talk about something less of a hot-button issue, such as religion. No, <laughs> you can't talk about tea in the chat without starting a war. Where am I going? Here we go. Slap! Orgo is good and sweet because it has oil from citrus in it. Sure can find some Brits to join in. Oh my gosh, my, I, I read an article lately, or not an article, it's like a thread that people were talking about like how to make your sweet tea, or how to make tea. And it was like, well, what, which do you do? Do you put pour water over the tea bag or do you like put the tea bag in the water? And I was like, how is that, how does that actually do anything different? There's no way that it can, ow, whoa, that man came out the gangbusters. Um, there's no way that can actually, like, make a fucking difference in the way the tea tastes. But people swore by it, and I was like, there's no fucking way this is gonna make that big of a difference between pouring hot water over tea. Ow. What is this? Oh, there's, like, there's, like, an invisible monster. Convection. People are getting too comfy, just in general. I'll wait for all these dudes to build up. Boom. Yeah, I get, I get, we get, um, hot tea bags that have different flavors. We, uh, my wife and I really like the, uh, um, it's like a black tea with, uh, orange and spice in it. Caveman didn't worry. It's water was poured into a hot pot or gently brought up to a simmer. I had a friend of mine that I met in college that um, was, uh, we called him the tea guru. He, uh, I had a lot of study sessions at his uh, dorm. I think it was my, this was my second year or third year that he'd lived, he lived in the dorm room, like two, two doors down from me. And um, he actually had a burner, like a hot, a hot plate in his room just so he could heat up his um, teapot and had like nice tea. The stuff that he got from this place called Tivana. They had like white peach tea and like all that. I learned a lot about tea and making tea and different types of tea from him. But we called him the we called him the guru. So we would go have study sessions at the guru's uh, place. He would bake a big thing of tea and we would all bring snacks and we would just sit around drinking tea and eating snacks and like studying for different tests. I hear a door speaking to itself. I can see. I can see machines throwing bombs inside the model towns. What is it? Just put tea bag in a water in the microwave versus boiling water in kettle. Barney five hot plate to make a can of chili. <laughs> I mean, he might as well. He might as well have had that. Now, it's all about eating uh, Chef Boyardee ravioli cold straight from the can. <laughs> that's that's a survivalist stuff. Oh, no, it sucks! Ow. Okay. I'm getting destroyed right now. Time out, everybody. Feel personally called out. It's highly gourmet. Uh-oh, I've made a lot of enemies. Hold on, wait. Let me put this weed in my hand in case I die. Oh, they're, they're like, I invisible. Oh, wait. I forget they're in invisible enemies. Slap, slap, slap. Okay, now that the weed has gone away, let me put this bracelet back on. I feel better. Oh! Ah! P panic and stupidity! We're good. We're good. No problem. No problem. What was I worried about? Nothing. I'm watching over the world. Please take this. Crash received experience. 
Would you like to go back to Dr. Leo's laboratory? Not yet. I'm pretty sure that there are invisible dudes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have to I have to go. Okay, yeah, I'm ready to go back cuz there's a lot of people that I need to go talk to. Good luck. I need to talk to this dude. My back hurts because I've been sitting too long. I should get up and exercise, dude. I feel that. Okay, whoa. It scares people when I move, but we're just exercising. Yeah, that's me every day at work. It's just like, I gotta get up and move my legs because the blood is just pooled in it. I feel really bad. I still don't have the fucking key. Delicious V8. Other store brands of vegetable juice just aren't the same. Dude, make yourself a Bloody Mary. What are you doing with just V8? You could make this a fucking party right now. I am not a fan. Once again, I wasn't a fan because I don't like vodka. But until I had one that had like flavored vodka, I had one that was like a bacon infused vodka. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm all about this. Use magic to defeat the enemies, which you cannot reach. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I didn't much care for Bloody Marys until I had stuff. Once again, because I don't like vodka. Until I had something that with, like, an infused vodka. I'm going to drink an entire bottle of Red Velvet Baileys. Ugh. Enjoy your cavities and your hangover. <laughs> Dr. Leo, King Magrid wishes to see you at once. I'm going to give him a goofy voice. Are you going to allow him to take a, d a deal with that doll? King Magrid knows nothing about the value of human life. That sounds awful. Red Velvet Baileys. So I'm trying to. So Red Velvet is just basically chocolate with food coloring. I'm pretty sure there's nothing special about it. it smells horrible. No matter how small, all creatures have a right to exist in this world. If trees in this world were cut in half, the oxygen would decrease, and many of us would die. We do what King Magrid tells us to do. King Magrid makes all of the decisions for us. Oh. Hey, it's time to go. Dr. Leo, you love your daughter Lisa, don't you? If you obey, she will remain safe. We will be waiting for you outside in the airship. Come out when you are ready. Please forgive me. The world will go to ruin sooner or later. But I can do nothing more. Oh, Master, please help me. Lately, I always see Dr. Leo in my dreams. I was scared when he was taken away. I've been hiding under the table. Oh, yes, I will give you this. Dr. Leo left this. Crash received a door key. There it is. Okay, awesome. Rum Chata is pretty good. Rum Chata is really good, but once again, one of those things that's like... You mix it. <laughs> with stuff. It's really good, though. Entire... Drinking glass of pure gin. Ugh. Like, I'll... Gin? Gin? I, I mean, I had a gin and tonic earlier tonight. Everclear with some lawn clippings. Except, Everclear is... 190 proof. And most gins are 40... Or, are like, 80 to 100 proof. There's nothing in this room. Drinking Everclear is... I mean, like, just straight mash <laughs> liquor it's just like yeah gin and tonic used to be my favorite drink i also like a good like dirty martini like swamp water like put a bunch of olive juice in there kind of martini shrimp or lamb my body is locked there should be a key somewhere i have to equip the key what a jerk Oh, you see, now you're speaking Mute's language with shrimp. I have the key. I have the fucking key. A door key. Here it is. Okay. Neat. Thanks. Good game. Best game ever. The soul of the great door joins you. You will be able to see the invisible enemies in the models of the town. Listen to what the cat says. Oh my gosh. That was a lot to take in, my dude. 
had some shrimp earlier. Your mute is on brand with the eating eating shrimp. Doors are usually quiet, but there are some talkative ones. Try and talk to all of them. Take the mystic armor from my drawer. I received mystic armor. Thanks. That's awesome. Um. Cut the necessary gems in half. Invincible for a longer period of time. Okay. Okay, I need to go talk to all the doors. So I've talked to that door. Oh, wait, you. This man doesn't want to talk to me. I don't know if that's true. Even though I don't look like it, I am from the sky just like you. Hey, I found another angel. Let me join you. The soul that enables you to see invisible enemies in bottle towns joined you. Wow, that is a very particular soul. That is, that soul is, like, super niche. <laughs> yeah, if I want to get sent to the fucking hospital. I had a, um... A weird reaction... I've had Mike's Hard Lemonade before and didn't have this problem, but there was one time that I had some Mike's Hard Lemonade um, and I ha it made me have esophageal spasms and I thought I was having a heart attack and I <laughs> rushed myself. Uh, my wife, uh, I guess we were dating at the time. Were we engaged at that point? I don't know. But, uh, oh my gosh, come here. This siege machine. She rushed me to the hospital because I have a heart condition. I was born with a pre like a existing heart condition and uh yeah it was it was it was panic time for sure but everything wound up being okay i just haven't had any mike's hard lemonade since then 40 year old guys wow <laughs> smearing off ice so i didn't i didn't deal with this but did y'all ever have y'all ever heard of um icing people and what all that entails. It's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Some steps. So icing people. Because the ice is people. What icing is. And I'd never heard about this. This is a, another friend of mine that went off to like a different like larger college. This is a thing that he and his friends did. And he brought this information back to us. Which was a mistake. He should not have told me about it. Um... Apparently, there's a game that was played where if, um, I don't know what that did, uh-oh, where if you are at a party and you have, you get somebody to look at a Smirnoff Ice, they have to take a knee, uncap the whole thing, uncap it, and, and like, chug the whole thing, like, right there and then, unless they can produce from that spot a Smirnoff Ice of their own. Oh, open shortcut back at the entrance. I'll release a mouse. So then you have people walking around, like, hiding Smirnoff Ices for people at parties and things like that. Like, somebody will open up, like, a board game or something, and it'll have a Smirnoff Ice in it. And be like, ah, oh, fuck! And then they, like, everybody laughs, and that dude chugs it. So, found out about this, and, uh, there's some silliness that went down. One time, uh, I'm trying to remember when this was. This may have been, this was right before my 30th birthday party. A couple weeks before, no, it may have been. It was may have been longer. It may have been like a couple of months before that. Um, had a supper and some board games over at a friend's house, and uh, my wife and I brought chips and dip, and we actually made dip. But then, um, one thing that we did is that uh, in one of the casserole dishes. We uh, zipped it all up in the, like, protective carrying case and filled it up with Smirnoff ice. And so when somebody inevitably, like, unzipped it to get the dip out, there were, like, five Smirnoff ices in there. So we, I, we wound up icing, like, my entire friend group. And uh, they, two of them held a grudge. So then for my 30th birthday party, went to a friend of uh, mine, his uncle's, like, cabin or something like that. And um, they it was a surprise party and i walked in i was like oh hey everybody's here and for that entire weekend it was like an it was like the worst easter egg hunt ever i kept finding smirnoff ices like in my bed or like somebody saran wrapped the uh toilet and put one on top of the saran wrap and then closed the lid so that in the middle of the night when i went to go like go to the bathroom i would find one uh i found one 
like I I was finding them all over the fucking place. So I wound up drinking a lot of Smirnoff ice, and it wasn't just like regular Smirnoff ice, which is good because that stuff is just like sugar. It was um like Sex on the Beach, like free tropical Smirnoff ice. I think I wound up having to chug one for breakfast, <laughs> and I was like, hey, at least it's like fruit flavored. But that's icing. That's a it's a dumb game that I should not have learned about. <laughs> Smirnoff Ice is like everybody's first drink, though. It's my first drink. Well, other than like you know when you're like ten and you're like. Your dad's drinking a beer. You're like, what does it taste like? And he's like, it tastes like it smells. And then you have a, a sip of, like, whatever he's, whatever your dad's drinking at the time. Steel Reserve. And you're like, this is gross. And then you don't touch this stuff for a long time. Another model town. Ugh. Are you saying it's for the young? Or are you actually still actively playing it? It was a thing that people did in college. And then I learned about it. And then I brought it back. And... We did it as as old people, as 30-year-olds. <laughs> Do these things unlock? Like, oh, wait. Yeah, there's another monster layer left. Where is their hub? That's got to be what's left, is like these guys. So where's their hub? Oh, this is it. It's right in front of me. There it is. Okay. I'm dumb. Eighty gems. Who cares? A medical herb. I did need one of those. Uh, okay, so I need to skeet out along back. I'm done with everything here. That shoots me out here. I need to talk to the... no. There's steps, but then there's also the new thing. When I was in high school, we just get to piss out of each other in the hallways. It was fun. Now, I don't know about high school games. Oh, there's nothing up here yet. Only cans thirst date? What? <laughs> Please go on. You have my attention. I would like to know about this. Oh, I gotta talk to this preacher mouse. I'm a devout mouse. Stand here and you will be purified. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> I accidentally clipped over him. Hold on, wait. Time out. Crash felt his body and mine become purified. Boop. Thanks for the full heals. As two bachelors, we should know. Okay, hold on, wait. Hang on. It has a much higher production value than any free joke game deserves to be. <laughs> I swallowed into the model. Okay, there's some more stuff going on here. Ten layers. Let's do it. Mmm, ten layers. Oh! Oh no! Problems! <laughs> oh! Stop it! We're good. No problem. We're fine. No panic whatsoever. <laughs> Grammar good. <laughs> you talk good. You make words real nice. All right, bombardiers. Y'all chill out a second there. Uh, what's happened here? Slap! Slap all the little boys! Okay, I did that. This stuff looks like it's dangerous. I'm not gonna walk in the purple... Well, I'm gonna test the purple goo. Let's be real. I'm gonna walk in the purple goo once. I still haven't found a way to that other plant. Okay, what happens here? It does nothing. Okay. Alright. Whoa! Chill out. 
invisible catapults. Oh! How do we get over there? Gotta find a way. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a problem. We're fine. It's gonna be okay. Okay, that opens up the town. Yay. Okay. I released a chest of drawers. Fear my, my minion. The Armoire of Doom. Okay. Uh, a lot of layers left to try and get to. Nothing over here. Okay. I think the bridge is up here in the north. Yep. Here we go. Okay. What am I getting myself into? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Oh, more archers. Oh, problems. I'm dumb. Stop. There we go. Okay, and it's like this weird siege engines here. Yes, you are. In fact, I need to change that so it also says Dortles playing with this. Because at the time that I edited, I was updating my stuff, that we were going to be playing... Uh, Human fall flat together. Dortle had not yet committed. Ah! So I'd like to make sure that everybody's there. Although if my wife... My wife does not want to stream. <laughs> she will play with us. She will talk with us. But she, I was like, hey, do you want to set up a stream? She said, no. Not, not into it. I don't want to learn all that shit. I don't want to deal with it. I was like, that is fair. Gotcha. You do you, boo. So, But she's looking forward to it. She's also looking, also looking forward to, at some point, you know, you had mentioned wanting to do um, Stardew Valley sometime in the future. One thing at a time, you know. She was super excited about doing that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta let everybody know that you're bringing the big ticket item. That your mute himself is showing up. How do you get up there? That really brings in, brings in the, 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 the peeps. Could be a lot of fun, yeah. Uh, uh-oh. Stop it! Oh, the <laughs> and I'm just kind of along for the ride in both places. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> uh, two more. Just happy that the, the big kids are allowing me to play with them. <laughs> oh. He did that. I mean, he did that like a year ago, and it was a thing that he did because he, I think he lost video, so he was just doing something to like, he just put something together, it wound up being really popular. It was the same thing with uh, when he did the Lost in Vivo, I think there was um, one episode that the stuff got corrupted and he did uh, an, an like a very, very shitty like MS Paint animation recapping the... Um, the the events of that episode and it was it was really funny but you know that that shit takes a lot of work to do you gotta you gotta sit down and be inspired and have the patience to sit down and, and it's also that's a lot of editing you 
Yeah. I've that's I've never lived close to anybody that I've tried to do stuff with, other than like me and my wife like doing movie reviews and things like that and, and let's plays. But yeah. I've never really like lived near anybody else who's um wanted to to do this kind of stuff. Right, that should be everything here. But yeah, I, I think the same thing, that it's like, man, it'd be really great if I could film some live action stuff or even just like getting together in the same room to do recordings and doing couch co-op stuff that like sometimes you can't, There's no, you don't have access to doing it uh, over the internet and things like that. Or um, doing stuff on consoles that you wouldn't have uh, be able to do internet access with that shit. I cannot escape this fucking town. Ow! There we go. Okay, hold on, wait. So. Oh, that plant. I haven't talked to this plant. I'm an act actinidia, I guess. Take some of my leaves if you want. Ouch. Crash received Actinidia leaves. What the fuck does this do? It emits a peculiar scent that attracts cats. Oh! This is how I get stuff out of this room over here. It's catnip. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. I have catnip now. What a pleasant smell. What a good smell. Okay, y'all hang out there. There, I made the, the cats leave. Thank you very much. Now I can walk around the room freely. Let me give you something. Please come inside. Okay. Thank you for getting rid of the cats. Take this magic, the magic of Spark Bomb. Crash receives Spark Bomb. What? Mines are laid and will explode soon after. Cool. Thanks, terrorist mouse. Where are we can timid animals? Don't you think it's unfair that the weaker creatures are defeated first? I would have liked to have been born a plant. I would not fear anything. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's... An interesting way to think about it. Would you like a medical herb? Man, it takes forever to get around to you. Do I have one already? I do. Okay. All right. How much more do I have here? Let's get on out. I got more to explore. Okay. I dealt with all that. Let's head on back up. I think there's some stuff around here that I haven't dealt with. Let's see. I did this already. That mouse just heals me. There's nothing else this way. I've done both things there. I've talked to everybody here. There's something, yeah, up in this attic. This is the room belongs to a doll named Mary or Marie. She told me many things about foreign towns. A girl named Lisa took care of Marie. Okay, and then you. If there's nothing in the chest, then the chest is good for nothing. Would you store your medical herbs in my drawer? I guess. I'm satisfied. Are you taking them out? Well, if that's okay. Okay. That's weird. Okay, so I've talked all this. I've dealt... Have I done everything here? Crash the swallowed into the model. Let me see. Yes, I've done everything here. Let's get out of here. Okay. I think that's everything on this floor. I don't think there's anything else that I can really do. So let me go back downstairs. And I went all the way up to the attic. There was nothing up there that I could interact with. So, so, 
There's the laboratory. I could go down into there. There's actually two things there. Uh, let me just double check. I've talked to that plant. I've talked to that mouse. I've talked to this plant. I've talked... Yeah, I've talked to everything here. Okay. So, I've got to go back down into the lab? No. There's another stairwell there. Okay, mute. Take care. Oh, here we go. This is where I need to go. All right, this should be the last zone, it feels like. Oh, come on. Okay, I've cleared all of these things out, so now they won't respawn, and I can take my time hitting all of these switches. There's that one. There's that one. Oh, connect to a bunch of nothing. Okay, that connected to a, a bit of something. Oh, I better find. Oh, okay. That is nothing. Okay, that's all that. So I bet that this armor that I'm missing allows me to walk over this stuff without taking damage. Oh, it sucks! It sucks so bad. I bet that's the armor in the forest, is the frost armor, and I haven't found it yet. that so I got two more spawns and then this is okay this is a doll that's up in the like church or chapel whatever you want to call it that area where is this going I have a feeling we're getting very close to the end of this chapter. It's been a long and winding road. Okay. Bip. Ow. Okay. Just gonna wing it. Oh my gosh, are you serious? All the way back there. And then... This is the last monster layer. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay. So this is the game plan. Okay. I'm going to go back and talk to this gem first, wherever that is. How do I get there? I've got to backtrack through all this stuff, which is fine.
watching over the world, please take this. I received experience. Would you like to go back to Dr. Leo's lab? I could technically, because now I have this teleporter opened up. So this is going to take me back here. I go here. This is going to heal me up. Let me make sure that I have everything that I need. I do have some... Okay. I think we're set. I think we're ready to go. So that's going to be up here to the left. This is a new area that I haven't been to, I guess. Yep, here we go. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, it's just going to rain down. Okay. Where's he coming in? Here, I'm actually going to bu -bu 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 go to the... Power bracelet for now. Oh, well, that's a problem. Okay, so I'm standing. <laughs> I'm standing way too close to him. Uh, oops. <laughs> Dumb. Okay. Uh, let's do that again. Let me make. Oh, wait. What do I have? Oh, the power bracelet. Okay, we are going to start with the power bracelet. That is a thing. And I know that, oh my gosh, do I go back and talk to the doll? Oh, I'm going to go back and talk to the doll. So, go in here. The doll was on the second floor. So, wait, we're going to go through here. Ah, maybe. Or we're just going to, like, smash our heads into the wall, trying to navigate. Okay. Because I don't know if this doll is going to unlock stuff. Because I saw there was that chest to the north before the stairwell that went to the boss. So I don't know if you know something. Large machines in the basement. Hey, thanks for the follow, Lauren. Large machines in the basement were uh, the machines which summoned evil. They were made by Dr. Leo. Those machines started to move. The cities were destroyed. Fucking harsh. Okay, good night. Oh, you leaving? Man, I'm so close. <laughs> or are you saying good night to mute? I don't know. Who's to say? Let's get on back here. I'm going to shut it down after I beat this boss, though. I think that'll be a good stopping point, a good kind of bookend to the gameplay tonight. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Let's not be dumb. Ow! Okay. <laughs> the guy came in super heavy. Oh, and I ran right into his. So he's going to teleport in. Fuck off. Okay. This is, this is wrong. I'd rather survive. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. I've done a lot of damage. That's good. Let's equip this uh, shield again. Shield bracelet. Protect me. Save me. Come on. Come on. Just slap him a bunch. Okay, run away. Ah! Uh, this guy's not that bad. I just gotta, like, find him. Okay, he's gonna teleport here. Oh. Not too shabby. Where's he coming out? Right here. Get in a couple of hits and run away.
Getting a couple of hits and run away. Doing, doing it. Making it. We're making it. It's going to be all right. Oh, he's so close. Okay, I should get him on this next wave. Ah! <laughs> Unless I bump into an accident right there. Oh, he's so close. There it is. Oh, I defeated this, the, the evil big fat machine. Oh. Let me out. <laughs> Woo! Did it. Okay. <laughs> I released the doll. Marie! I'm Marie, the doll. I have a purple stone in my pocket. Take this with you and save Dr. Leo. So, how do we get there? That's the question. Oh, wait. There's a bridge to the north. I don't wait. Let me backtrack a little bit here. I gotta run this fucking gauntlet. I guess I could always talk to that gem to get back there. I'll just take the hit. I don't care. It could be anything in this chest. Oh, it sucks. Okay. Here we go. Was this worth it? Can I open it? Light armor? A bit. <laughs> this is fucking extra armor that I just didn't get. Receive no damage from weaker monsters. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> that seems super important. Okay. I need to not die going across this stuff, though. Oh my gosh, super close. <laughs> I have two, two health left. Take me home! Would you like to go back to Dr. Leo's? Yes. <laughs> Man, that was fucking close. Okay, step number one. Heal up. Feeling better. Thanks. Okay, we need to go all the way up to the attic. Oh, such a roundabout way to get to this last little thing. Okay, hello, hi. Nobody can break a promise that is made with evil. There will be no revival of the world unless Death Toll is defeated. Dr. Leo must be somewhere in the Magrid Castle. Here, take this stone from my pocket and go to the Magrid Castle. So, that gives me five stones. Cool. And I have a sword that I can't use until I get level 22, but it gives me lifesteal. So that's dope. Uh, okay, well that is it for tonight. Let me get back to our main area right here and save. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Voice came from above. Crash, how can I help? We're going to move. We're going to go ahead and set up camp. In the next area up here to the castle itself. How can I help you? We're going to record all of you accomplished. Yes. Finish recording. Do you wish to continue? No. Rest well. There is still much to be done. Okay. So, successful night. Got through two more worlds. We're going to stop here for now. Uh, but when we come back, which I guess will be either Monday or Tuesday night, I still haven't decided like what my new schedule really is going to be, like how many nights I'm going to do stuff, but probably Monday night. Um, we're going to go through Macrid Castle. Uh, so be sure to tune in for that, and then tomorrow night, a little earlier, we're not going to be starting, but maybe like a 8 or 9 o'clock instead of what I've been doing recently, which is starting at like 11 to go through this game. Um, it's me, my wife, Mute, and Dr. Dordle. Four of us will be doing Human Fall Flat. Uh, I know that the two, my wife and I, we haven't played this game before. We've watched a lot of uh, Let's Plays and streams and stuff of it before, but we've never played it. Um, I don't know about Mute or Dordle, so that'll be fun to do a little four-player uh, co-op playthrough of that. I've got some tech stuff that I have to set up since my wife and I will be in the same room figuring out um, 
microphone situation, everything like that. Uh, but yeah, so this was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you once again to Lauren for coming in and helping out with a lot of uh, stuff here. Um, uh, there were a few times that I got stuck. I was like, I have to do blank. It's like, no, come back to it later. It's a plot point. Leave it alone. I'm very much one of those people that it's, if there's a thing to possibly complete in front of me that it's like, well, I want to deal with it now. I'm one of those people that when I play RPGs, it's like, let me go down every possible branch in the cave because I want to explore everything. There's not a completionist standpoint from like 100% of doing like all of the side quests necessarily, unless like, or like all of the item collection. But like, I want to explore everything. I want to see all of the story, everything that like the developers put into the game and everything like that. So I'm definitely one of those people that it's like, let's do everything while we're here. And it's like, you can't, you got to come back to it. Um, but yeah, so this is a lot of fun. Uh, still going through this, uh, got a couple more worlds probably to go through. So, uh, yeah, be sure to tune back in for that and I'll see you all around. Bye.